Hey, it's been a minute since I've done a box opening. I figure I'd open one of these, uh, one of these Modern Horizons 3 collector booster boxes to see if I can get something cool. Um, uh, which one? I think I'm gonna open this one. Uh, I just won. I've seen uh, quite a few openings of this and uh, some nice pulls. Um, I haven't been buying a lot of sealed products since I started releasing products like every other month. So I haven't had extras to open, but decided to get a few extras of this. Because uh, what I've been doing is just buying like, like I just buy like one of each collector box, uh, like their Thunder Junction, but I haven't been opening them because I haven't been buying multiples, but this one decided to buy two. Probably just open the one. All right, we'll see what we got here. Ooh. Ugh. All right. Ooh, do, do, do. Let's get... Boil Prisa Titania. Let me just move this to the side, because, uh, yeah, that's going <laughs> to kind of play out of the deck. All right, we got a Retro Null Elemental Blast, Devour of Destiny, Tarmogoyf Nest. <laughs> it creates Tarmogoyfs. Cool. I'm actually going to be, I'm actually building a, uh, Hans and Safi partner deck, even though they're not partners, I think they have that event going on at the end of the month where you can have any uh, creatures as your partner commander. So I'm doing Hans and Safi. It's going to be a Lurgoyf themed deck, so be uh, happy to put these uh, Lurgoyf cards in there. We got here uh, the Necrobloom. Kind of cool. Volatile Storm Drake. Kind of weird how the uh, corner, the art, kind of messes with the frame, it seems. Same right here. A lot of light there. It's a cool looking card though. Energy based. Oh, wasn't even looking at this uh, full art uh, or it's extended, extended art, polluted delta. Well, that's pretty sweet. And find a home for that. Oh yeah, let's get the rares. All right, let's go back. Let's see what we got. Alrighty. Uh, da, 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 da. Unholy heat. Retro. Find Umbra. Chant a modified creature. Cool. Deserted Temple, that is actually one I've been looking to get, so cool. All right, I didn't want to spend, it was quite a few bucks, so I haven't picked it up yet. Una, or Omo, Queen of Vesuva. I hate this profile art, so I just won't play any of the cards that have it. Looks cool, I mean, the mechanic looks cool. That's a really cool counter spell. Um, Yeah, uh, definitely going to be playing that. And we got six. Once again, that profile art I hate. I actually want to play the card. I just will not play these versions. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's pretty. A frame break, I believe they call these ones. The Flare of Cultivation. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm definitely going to play that. Um... Probably, I'm not sure where. Um, I'm playing Cultivate and Kadama's Reach and Azusa right now. Um, I could run it as a third. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can make space for it. Evolution Witness. What the? Wow. That seems really good. 
Oh, geez. Uh, I have a Lagrella deck that's constantly um, uh, grabbing my own cards, and they come back with counters, and and it works. With, it's essentially a. It's not as good as Eternal Witness, um, but I also have ways of adding more counters on. It's interesting. Interesting coming out the. Look into that one. See if I can figure out a way to make that one work. Maybe in Kutzel. Huh. Yeah, I'll have to... <laughs> I like that card. Okay. Uh, oh, and the retro art. Non-foil. Okay. Uh, Abiding Grace. Cool card. Uh, all right. We have the Delirium. Yeah, this uh, land is definitely going into Zusa. <laughs> Aggressive Biomancy. Alright. Amphibian Downpour. Chant creature loses all ability, becomes a frog. Oh. Um, Storm. That's going in loot. That's absolutely going in loot. Holy shit. Um, cool. Null Drifter. Cool. Wait, is that Null Drifter with Annihilator? Flying Annihilator 1. Gross. Gross. Uh, hmm. Uh, Flare of Denial. Retro Foil. Common. Or uncommon? No, it's rare. Okay. It's hard to see in the foil. I, 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 I assumed it was rare. It just looked like it was common for a second. All right, cool. Um, all right. Did I miss the rares in here? Yeah, I did. It's because of those ugly profile cards. Okay. Well, all right. What we get next? All right. Interesting how the uh, order of the cards are different <laughs> from this pack compared to the other two. All right. Oh, we got a unicorn. Mentor. I think it's mentor. Cool. Do, 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 do. Cephalic Coliseum. Cool. Brain Surge. More sense of brainstorm for one more card. Energy. Aether Spike. Foil. Flooded Strand. Second fetch land. All right. Got a dinosaur here. Four mana, two four. Choose a player. Player takes double damage. Nasty. Sapphire medallion. Non foil. Still kind of cool. Uh, Wrath of the skies. Oh, the X energy destroy all creatures. Cool. All right. Um. Monumental Henge. Yep. It's good planes. Alright. This is the cards I'm going to play. So, this is nice that it's getting a nice good fat stack here. That's what I want to see when I open cards, is cards I'm going to play with. Hmm. Oh my gosh. And now it's back to the other order. So, that last pack was on the anomaly, apparently. Okay. Snow Covered Waste, Strike It Rich, Cannoneer, pretty cool, Filigree Racer, Energy, Sorcery Jumpstart, huh, did I forget, okay, Arena of Glory, yeah, that's a good card, Toxic Deluge, Retro Art, and that is a textured grief. I believe this is the one that hasn't been banned yet. <laughs> so yet. Wow. That is pretty. All right. So that's something, something a little special there. 
I'm not sure the frequency of these. I've seen these in a lot of box breaks. It almost like, almost like, I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of box breaks, but it almost seems like every box has one. <laughs> it seems. All right. Uh, foreboding landscape. Cycling fetch land that could also be called. So this is interesting. Cycle lands. Hydra. Oh no. Oh no, not another Hydra. Trample, it's trample. This. I have a um, Animar deck, but I don't think that's going to go in it. Animar Hydra deck, that is. Static Prison. Cool looking forest. Really thick. Um, doesn't translate well to video. I'm going through these cards. This forest feels so much thicker than these other cards. It like, I know they're all foil, but this forest feels like the thickness of one and a half cards. Really weird, huh? All right, uh, retro Skoa Ember Mage. Four damage. Discard another card. Oh, all right. Unstable Amulet Retro Foil. Energy. Detective Phoenix. Now I have a um, Jaya deck that's playing Jaya's Phoenix and Chandra's Phoenix. Is this Phoenix worth playing in there? Doesn't look like it. No. Cool though. All right. Rampant Fragantua. <laughs> Frog. Cool. Gets plus 10, plus 10 for each player who has lost the game. Holy moly. Just come into your player, you may mill that many cards, but in for land. Wow. That's kind of fun. Hmm. What do I think about that? It seems kind of fun. Um, it's a kooky fun cards. Winter Moon. All right. Phyrexian Tower. Very nice. Not, not foil, but still. Uh, profile foil the Eldrazi dragon. Oh, I hate these profile cards. All right, that's half. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, more these landscapes. Retro Priest of Titania. Uh, the Ember Mage again. This time, Retro Foil. A Foil Brea. Or as I refer to her in all of her forms, all that in art, I refer to as Lady Gaga. Alright. Brea. Uh. Gluttonous Hellkite, Jun Double X. Each player sacrifices X creatures. Neat. Cool dragon. Uh, Echoes of Eternity. Oh, yeah, the double everything. Neat. Dress Down Retro. Cool. Hmm. That's. Think about that. Hmm. All right. Oh. The new EDH Menace. Um, I'm feeling this guy as a commander is going to cause a lot of grief for a little while. Well, he's new and everyone wants to play him. Uh, seems really silly. Hmm. Don't know if I'm going to play it or not. I'll put it here for now. I don't know. I, um, I definitely don't want to build it as a commander. I probably won't play it at all, actually. Ugh. Way, way pushed. Like, three mana, three, four flyer, really good rate, and then that ability on top is... That's just silly. Ugh. And now the cards will flip the other way. Fender's X, Energy X. Nukami. 
Uh, da, da, da. Stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Cool. Unfortunately, it's a sorcery, but it's also a dual land. That's kind of sweet. Um, all right, this again. Nesting ground foil. Hmm. Move permanent counters. Archway of Innovation. That's the blue one. Planar Nexus. That I think that's a pretty decent land. Everyone's I think pretty hyped for that because it's got all the different types. So it's a land. It's a locust land. It's whatever land you want. It's a desert. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I do not do not think I'll be playing it, but I understand. Hey, Bloodstain Meyer. Cool. Hero of, or Flare of Malice. That's the Black Flare. Yeah. Um, probably have a home for that. And a Extended Art Foil Windswept Heath. Neat. Oh. Not, like, too high on um, all the fetch lands. I understand the needed reprints. I'm just happy with the really the Zendikar expedition ones. I think they, those are the best looking uh, fetch lands, and I don't think anything they've put out since then have looked as good as the expeditions. But it's still cool. I could always use more fetch lands. Oh, oh, jeez. Would love to see uh, Varani care however you pronounce her name, uh, do more lands. Is that a rare token? Okay, uh, got a watchdog. Strike your itch again. Cathanic discharge. Ripples of undeath. Yep, I actually want to play that in Zatoya. So cool. Glad I got that. Angelic aberration. And there's a battlefield, sacrifice any number of creatures with base power or toughness one or less, and create that many Eldrazi angels with flying and vigilance. That's kind of cool, especially in the right deck. Lelia, um, in that stupid profile art, primal powers. Energy. Neat. Oh. Foil Retro Dress Down. I don't know if this is a big hit or not. Um, I would think it might be. I know this is played a lot in um, Commander, at least. in Or not Commander, in CEDH, which is a different format than Commander. Um, I know people like to play this card. That's why I do have one CEDH deck that is blue, so I've and I don't have a dress down yet, so cool. All right, three packs left. All righty. Junk Diver, cool. This is Destiny. That's yeah, Destiny, right? Yeah, that's cool. Cool creature there. Proliferate when non-token creatures into the battlefield under my control. Oh, oh my. Yeah. Nope, nope, no. That's going to Lagrella. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Non-creature spells cost one more to cast. This is Charitable Levy. Whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, put a collection counter on Charitable Levy. Then if there are three or more collection counters on it, sacrifice. If you do, draw a card. Then search Levy for a plane. Upon the battlefield, tapped. Interesting. Uh, Harbinger of the Seas. Non-basic lands are islands. Wow, it's a blue moon. <laughs> wow. Neat. Uh, Satya. Artificer. 
Menace Haste, 4 mana, 3, 5. More energy stuff. We have that broken ass new commander, but the profile art. So I got a etched and a profile. Oof. This this whale. Three mana, seven five, vanishing two. Whenever a player casts their second spell, proliferate. I I don't know if it's just me, but this seems like one hell of a rate. <laughs> That is one I've been looking at. Um, neat. What we got here? Ooh. Boil. Jet Medallion. Neat. All right. Two packs left. Mm. Not easy to open. Army. Okay. See this so often. What do we got here? Marionette Apprentice. Fabricate one. Whenever another creature artifact you control from the garbage. Oh, that seems good. Emerald Medallion. Salvation Colossus, Flying Vigilance Trample. Unearth pay eight energy. Huh. Emerald Medallion. Ragavan Retro Art. Alrighty. And a full art foil windswept heat. How many full art foil fetch lands have I seen already? Oh. I got the extended art and then the full art. So that's what's getting me. So there are so many fetch lands in this. And was there Blue Delta? That looks like an extended art. Really hard to tell. Looks like an extended art. Okay, one pack left. Oh. How much glue do they need on these? Cat token for that uh, one one life link. Uh, Creature that when you gain life you create cats. I actually haven't seen if I pulled that cat yet, but I don't want to play it. It's energy a new slith creates energies when it attacks, pay energy, gets first strike. When it deals combat damage, you get a plus one plus one counter. I do like the sliths. I'm just not sure I'm ever gonna play anything with energy. Because I am just a commander player and I don't want to do commander energy. Just personal preference. Flying life. Dual land. Cool art, though. Craig Elliott. We got a Retro Heart Evidence. Foil Retro Tune the Narrative. A Foil Invert Polarity. Uh, cool. A Trench Post. It's a Locust Land. All right. Crab, um, crab Abomination. Crab Demon. Emerge from Artifact. Target opponent exiles the top card of the library at random. A random card from their graveyard and a card at random from their hand. You may cast a spell from among them without paying the mana cost. Interesting. It's the new uh, Boreal Sajani. Right? Yeah. Neat. And we have a retro uh, or an, an etched emrakul the world's anew that's it um i don't even know what the valuable cards in the set are actually 
I don't know if I did well or not. Uh, the fetch lands, I got a lot of foil fetch lands, but I mean, there's so many variations of them. They, I don't think the fetch lands are actually going to be worth that much for the for the next little while. Um, I'd imagine that people want the other versions of Emrakul. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe I just got all the. I did get the grief. I don't know if this how valuable this is. Looks cool though. I like that rainbow foil. Well, there you go. There's there's a box. Um, I don't think I'll open another box right now. But that, hey, look at this. Uh, so the invert. This is, I always have to decide: am I going to play the the extended art or play the foil non extended art? It's always the question. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be playing an invert polarity. Maybe the extended art. Um, well, that was interesting. All right. Uh, no, no serialized, but hey, the, the grief, I guess, is a hit. So there we go. Thanks for watching.